Hello everybody. This is going to be a short but sweet programming video tutorial for PHP users. The topic we're covering today is creating a simple bad word or harmful character filter system for your PHP and MySQL database web applications. First we'll show you how to set it up for one time use in an application. Then we'll show you how to set it up as a custom function so you can use the same filter on many pages or scripts in your application if you have that need. Okay, here we are inside of a basic PHP file that has nothing but the opening and closing PHP tags. So what we'll need to start with is some example data, something we want to run through our filter. Now I wanted to use really profane words uh, like the F word, the S word, to really show you the things that you would actually want to filter out. But since we're on YouTube and there might be a lot of kids watching, I'm going to go with the word douche, damn, and punch. And none of those are really bad words, but you, you can imagine you'd have the F word there, or the S word, or maybe the C word here, or something like that. But the words in this sentence, the ones I'm going to look to replace, are douche, damn, and punch. Because those are not very nice words. So under our example data, we're going to place another variable, and we're going to name that originals. And that's going to be equal to an array, and inside of that array, we can put as many items as we want inside of that array. So in this case, I just want to replace three words, but normally you would have a nice long list of curse words or harmful characters that you want to filter out. So I'm just going to put double quote, double quote, comma, double quote, double quote, comma, and double quote, double quote. That's three items I can place in there. The first one is douche, so I'm going to grab that. The next one is damn, put that there, and the last one is punch. I'm going to grab that and put it there. Now my originals array is all set up and ready to go. So let's just grab that whole array, copy it, and paste it on the line under it, and let's call this replacements. And I want to replace douche with the word friend. I want to replace damn with the word wow. And I want to replace punch with the word love. So now we have our originals array all set up, and our replacements array is all ready to go. Now let's take our my data variable which holds this whole sentence that still has bad words in it and we're going to make that equal to str underscore i replace. Now what this is is the string i replace function in PHP which allows you to replace one value with another. So let's say I wanted to replace the value of turd with the word poop. And all I have to do is stick my data right here. Now it's all ready to go and what that'll do is if the word turd happens to appear anywhere in my sentence or my text, it'll replace the word turd with poop. But since we have arrays set up and the string I replace function in PHP allows us to put a whole giant array of things we want to replace with new replacements, we can just add originals right here where it says turd. This is the original words and these are the replacements. So it will work for three, fifty, however many words you have in your array. Now all you have to do is echo out my data. So we'll grab that, just that variable. Now we'll echo out my data and you'll see that it effectively replaces everything that you wanted to replace. And it's really only three lines of code that's uh, taking care of the whole thing. And I'm going to show you how to put this into a custom function in just a second. But first we want to test this out and make sure it changes this horrible sentence into a more lovely one. So we're going to make sure that we have this on a PHP enabled server and then we're going to test it in the browser. If you're on your local machine and PHP is not installed on your local machine, this might not work for you, okay? You got to put it online where PHP is enabled to run. Alright, so you can see it takes my horrible sentence and changes it into something much more lovely. So now it says, hi friend, wow, I want to love you for a good cause. So at this point, as it is now, you can use this very simply for one-time use in your script if you need it. But maybe you're going to have a system that might use this on several different pages and several different scripts within your system. Or maybe it uses it in three or four different locations within the same PHP script. You'll want to have that in a custom function. So what you'll want to do is take the three lines in the center here that actually do all the processing and filtering that we need. I'm going to take those out and press Control X. And right under the PHP tag, above our data and everything like that, we're going to put in our custom function. So we'll type in function, bad word filter, 
open parentheses, close parentheses, open the curly brace and go down a couple of lines and close off your curly brace. That closes up your function nest. So anything you want to happen, any code you want to execute within this function goes right here. So we'll put those three lines and then we have to make sure this is going to be somewhat dynamic. So here, in between the parentheses for the bad word filter function, we're going to put dollar sign and x or you can just call it data. Now you just change that for my data and now we're going to send my data through this function. So what happens is let's go down here right under my data we're going to call that function to run called bad word filter. Bad word filter and in its parentheses here we're going to put my data. So my data is being sent through the bad word filter function that we just created custom. So let's just take this line right here and this if this line is placed just like that it'll execute the function but since we want to echo it out we can do this. We'll just echo the function to run with my data so it'll filter it on it. But if you want that into a variable you can just go like this cleaned equals that and then you can just echo out cleaned. So that's what we'll do because that's normally how people would use it. Now we want to go here inside of our function and make sure this one says data instead of my data and then at the very end we're going to return data. What that'll do is that'll send the cleaned data back to your script from inside the function. Now when we run this in our browser we should see the same exact output as we saw before and then we'll know that we can just fire off this function called bad word filter on any data we want at any time and it'll, it'll give us a result variable of cleaned. Now if there's anything I happen to forget in here I'll find out in just a second after I test right now. Okay so let's refresh this and now with the new script running we shouldn't see any changes here it should run exactly the same as it did before. Alright so I just refreshed it and now it runs exactly like it did before but we have it set up a little bit differently a little more dynamic. So you can just send whatever data you want through your custom bad word filter and it'll wind up in a nice variable called cleaned for you. And you can put that into your database and you can also use this bad word filter on the way out of the database. So maybe you don't want to filter the words until they're coming out for display. But some people might want to filter the words or the text before it even goes into the database. Now here's one last little tip for you guys. You can take this control X and put it into an independent file, a PHP file. That's all on its own, just for your bad word filter. Just for your bad word filter. That way you can use it on many, many different pages and you won't have to write this filter over and over again. You can just type in include once. And in between parentheses here you can type in bad word filter dot PHP. And that is where your code is, that custom function we just made that I just zapped out of this file would live inside this file called badwordfilter.php. That way if you needed it for more than just this PHP script, you can use it on eight different PHP scripts in your, in your system or whatever, wherever you need it. And it'll run that function just like the function was sitting right there because when this script runs and it includes that file, basically that function is going to be sitting right there in the file. It's kind of like an easy way to template out your functions or you can use object-oriented programming and make it a class file and it'll be just as dynamic that way. So let's go back to what we had here and there's the function everything is in place and this is the example script that I'll put up at developphp.com for people to copy and paste if they want to get at the source code for what I have here. Alright so I hope that helps some of you guys who aren't really familiar with filtering things out filter out bad words, unwanted characters, so there's a whole lot you can do with this. Okay have fun, bye bye!